The January window is almost over. Clubs are getting those last minute deals over the line, but it doesn't always go smoothly. So let's take a look back at the top 10 worst winter moves in Premier League history, starting with Fernando Torres. The Spaniard controversially swapped Liverpool for rivals Chelsea for £50 million in January 2011 and went on to score just once for the Blues that season. He left three years later, adding just 19 more Prem goals to his name. Next up, we have Andy Carroll, who replaced Torres at Liverpool in January 2011 from Newcastle for £35 million, alongside another arrival in Luis Suarez. While Suarez became a cop hero, Carroll only managed six league goals in two seasons before being sold to West Ham a few years later for half the fee they paid for him. Next up, it is one of the most infamous swap deals the English top flight has ever seen, involving Arsenal and Manchester United back in January 2018. First, it was Alexis Sanchez who went to Old Trafford with his bizarre piano recital announcement video. Three goals later, he was shipped out to Inter Milan in the summer of 2019. Henry Mkhitaryan went the other way and fared slightly better, but not by much. Six goals in his one and only full campaign at the Emirates, and he eventually ended up joining Sanchez at Inter. Back to Chelsea now, when Colombian star Juan Cuadrado was signed by Jose Mourinho in the 2015 winter window for around £26 million to boost their Prem title chances. Chelsea did in fact win the league, but Cuadrado did not win over Mourinho. 13 league appearances, no goals and sent packing to Juventus on loan months later, before joining the Italians permanently in May 2017. A Southampton double now. Firstly, in January 2018, Guido Carrillo was snapped up from Monaco for £19 million under boss Maurizio Pellegrino. Two months later, Pellegrino was sacked. Carrillo went on to make just seven league appearances before joining Legans on loan in the summer, who were managed by, you guessed it, Pellegrino. Sticking with the Saints and fighting relegation in January 2023, Nathan Jones signed Mislav Orsic for £8 million from Dinamo Zagreb. Jones was sacked a month later. Orsic lasted a tiny bit longer, making just one league appearance before fleeing to Turkey in the summer as Southampton were relegated from the Prem. It would not be deadline day without QPR and Harry Redknapp involved. Centre-back Chris Samba was bought from the Russian top flight for £12.5 million in a bid to save Rangers from the drop in January 2013. Redknapp called him a monster upon signing him. It was a move that failed miserably. Samba was off it, and then he was off, back to Russia, for £12 million in the summer. QPR were relegated, but at least they got their money back. Fulham were excited in January 2014 when Greek star Kostas Mitroglou arrived from Olympiakos for £13 million. His nickname was Mitrog Goals, but got none at Craven Cottage in just one Prem start as Fulham tasted relegation. He returned to Olympiakos on loan that summer and naturally began scoring again. And last but not least, we have Benny McCarthy, who joined West Ham at the final hour of the winter window in 2010 from Blackburn for around £2 million. Twelve months later, having made just 11 Prem appearances, McCarthy was omitted from West Ham's playing squad and eventually paid £1.5 million to leave the club before the end of that campaign that saw the Hammers also go down. So that's our top 10 biggest transfer flops in the January window in Premier League history. Miss anyone out? Let us know in the comments.